Good evening, it is Thursday, uh, November 3rd, and I'm gonna be doing a drive um, through a set of roundabouts by my house to see how FSD Beta 10.69.3 handles them. Uh, we previously did this test um, with 69.1 and .2, I believe, as well. So um, we're gonna be doing um, six attempts total. So it's a pair of roundabouts, so we're gonna do it three times from each direction. So I'm still driving there right now. As soon as we get to the roundabouts, I will fast forward and we'll go from there. See you in a bit. All right, we're just approaching the pair of roundabouts here. This is attempt number one. So we've previously struggled with lane selection up here. Um, the sign is a bit of occluded here, but if the right lane is turn only, so we're going to have to get over to the left lane if we're going to do this correctly. It's trying to make a lane change here. A little jerky, a little hesitation there. But otherwise, it did it. We're getting really close to this curb on the inside there. I almost took over. <laughs> uh, an inch more and I would have taken over there, but we seem to have navigated it without hitting anything. So we're now making a wrong lane choice again. So we're fixing our lane choice. And again, we're stopping right in the middle of it, so I have to hit the throttle there to kind of get us out. Um, we did have a car coming there, so that was not a good move. So um, I'm going to consider that one a, a fail because I had to intervene there. So I'm going to spin around, and we will do attempt two here shortly. All right, this is attempt number two from the other direction now. Pretty smooth entrance there. No issues at that roundabout. Let's see how the busier one goes up here. And again, we seem to have a preference to get in the right lane here, which is incorrect, because this is a turn only lane. So it is figuring itself out. Um, trying to get back over to the left. And you know, minus the lane selection issues there, it did do everything correctly, minus, you know, and the lane changes so um, I'll consider that one a pass uh, not pretty but it worked so um, again I think one of the issues here is we're not able to see the signs or read the signs so we're only reacting I think until it sees maybe the road markings or gets closer to the actual roundabout before it can kind of figure out that that right lane ends from both directions there so anyways uh, we'll spin around here and we will do attempt number three um, all right, this is attempt number three here. Let's see how it goes. So again, we're in the wrong lane. We've got some pedestrians this time to our right. The car is not trying to get over this time, which is bizarre. So I have to disengage there. I'm gonna get up here and re-engage it. So this attempt already seems to be a fail. We do have some traffic behind us here. So I am getting, you know, covering the throttle and whatnot, but. It's not really seeing that curb very well there either. We were kind of really gonna be on a collision course there, so had to disengage there. So attempt number three, I think, was a fail through and through. Um, it's getting a little darker, so those light gray um, curbing is, is very hard for the vision system, it looks like, to see. Um, or at least it's, maybe, I have to look at the visuals to see if it's actually seeing it or not, but planner is acting as if it can't see it. So uh, I'm gonna spin around and then we will do attempt number four. All right, this is attempt number four here. Pretty good job there. Nicely decelerating, um, very smooth, no problems there. And now we're getting to the busier roundabout here. So we've got a car on our right that just entered it. Again, we're picking the wrong lane here, making a late lane change to get over. We do have a car to our left. Actually, there's another car now going. So we're deciding to go here after a bit of hesitation. Um, but we did complete the roundabout, but again, pretty jerky, not confident, and it really goes kind of south right away with the, the lane change where I think it's got to kind of dig itself out of a hole. So um, that was, I would say, you know, honestly, it was a pass, but it wasn't a pretty one. So I'm going to spin around here and we will do uh, attempt number five. All right, this is attempt number five here. So again, we're in the wrong lane here. Let's see if it's getting over. We're carrying quite a bit of speed here into the entrance. Looks like we are gonna make it, but again, we are like an inch away from that curb. So 
I let it go, but man, an inch further and I would have disengaged. So we're getting way too close to that curbing. Um, let's see here again, we're in the wrong lane. It's confused. It's getting back over to the left here. And we're gonna hit that curb if I didn't take over there. So again, very much, very trouble from, a lot of trouble from that uh, direction with the curbing. It seems to put us on a collision course with that uh, a few times there now. So it's not just a single occurrence of that. So um, because of this engagement, that is definitely a fail. Um, I will spin around for our last attempt and then we will kind of summarize the results. See you in a bit. All right, this is attempt number six here. Again, good smooth deceleration as we enter this roundabout. No issues there. Stayed plenty far away from the curbs. And then we will get to the last one up here. Um, again, we're in the wrong lane. Signaling to get back over, it looks like. Or not. Yep, okay, it's doing it very, very late. Again, staying away from the curb. I mean, honestly, that wasn't terrible. So again, minus the lane selection issues. I'm having some, some better luck with 69.3 than I did with 69.2 um, and, and before. So, um, you know, there has been some improvements. I feel like it does make its decisions a little better, um, a little bit less hesitation, but, you know, the changes they made with the path planning, especially when it comes to curbing, is definitely a bit of a regression right now. So some more polishing work, like, like Elon said, is definitely needed, I think, before this goes out to, to more fo folks here. So, um, you know, through and through, though, you know, there are some improvements. Obviously, there's still some work to be done but you know I still think some progress has been made with this build compared to the last that shows some promise so um, looking forward to the minor releases that are hopefully coming up down the pipe here pretty soon and uh, yeah looking forward to testing those around the Twin Cities and seeing if we can get some of these problem areas that are remaining uh, resolved here so thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one